Hi, and welcome to Business Law, and we're going to be talking about consideration today. Consideration is when you exchange things of value. So what a person demands and must receive in order to make a binding promise. So each person must either act or forbear, meaning they give up something they have the legal right to do, and it must have some type of legal value. There are different types of consideration. Some, however, are not legally enforceable and some are. The first one is a gift. You can promise to make a gift, but this is generally not enforceable because both parties did not receive something of value. We also have illusory promises, and that's where somebody inserts something, a clause in the contract that allows others to escape that legal obligation. For instance, I'll paint your house for $20 an hour if I have time. So the if I have time allows them to escape making that an illusory promise. So that contract would not be binding. An existing duty or a pre-existing duty means you're promising to do something that you've already been obligated to do. For instance, if a police officer promised to patrol your neighborhood if you gave him an extra $100 a week, well, he's already obligated to patrol your neighborhood. So that contract would not be legally enforceable. Past consideration is an act that's already been performed. So that act cannot serve as consideration. So contracts are for future acts. So if you painted the house last week, you can't use that in a future contract as your consideration. We also have promises to charitable organizations. Courts will enforce these because the organizations rely upon your promise to pledge and they have things that they plan on doing with those pledges. So the courts would consider that consideration. And the last one is promissory estoppel. Although promises themselves aren't enforceable, some promises are enforceable because you might promise something and if somebody relies upon that promise and acts upon it, and they suffer a substantial economic loss, the courts think that that is unfair and they will enforce that. An example might be if you promise to send somebody through college if they made A's, every single year you would pay their college tuition and they make it through college with all A's and you decide not to pay their tuition. They relied upon what you said, they acted upon it, and they suffered a substantial economic loss. So the courts would enforce that promise if it can be proven. Reminder, consideration is when you exchange things of value. Both people are going to um, have a benefit and a detriment. So they're going to benefit by receiving something, and they're going to be giving something up. That's the detriment. So let's see if these are examples of valid consideration. You offer to give your sister your iPod if she passes math class. You offer to donate money to a local charity. You offer to clean Janelle's house for $50. She agrees. If you refrain from driving until your 21st birthday, I'll give you $25,000. I will not buy a dog if you agree to build a fence. I'll give you this $10 pizza in exchange for your $30 jacket. So do items have to be the same value? And the law does not require items to be the same value. So this would be an enforceable agreement. You painted Ellen's fence last week out of the kindness of your heart. This week you told her you'd liked, you would like to lend um, her your car for one week in exchange for the paint job that you had done. Would that count as a valid consideration? So, fill in those answers. All right, and each party must have a benefit and a detriment. Benefits what you receive, detriments what you give up. Let's do the first example together. You offer to give your sister your iPod if she passes math class. The benefit was nothing. The detriment was the iPod. So you gave up the iPod, but what did you receive? So for each of these situations, you're going to try to figure out the benefit and the detriment. 